So if you're watching this video, you've most likely had a bad day. Certainly I have today. What's happened? Well, we've been digging a trench to lay in some new sleepers for retaining wall for a new patio. Find the mains water pipe here. So we knew it existed. Should have realized it was over here. However, what did we do? Took the spade, chop, chop, chopping away like normal as you would. Quite a rooty area round about here. Digging away, hit something, should have stopped. What did we do? Whack the spade in, telltale sign, some water coming up. That initial hiss that you get, followed by the water. Now, two problems we have. One, we still need to expose it. Second one is normally you have a stopcock. Sadly for us though, the stopcock can't be identified. We have tried in the past. We have had Scottish Water, who's the local authority for where we are, out to identify it. So we're gonna have to use one of these things. What this is, is a pipe squeeze. You take your Emian's pipe and you stick it through. We're gonna use that to cut off the water. First thing we're gonna have to do is expose bit of the, the ground so that we can get this on. So one of the first jobs you'll have to do when you're deciding on what size of fitting to get is these MDPE uh, mains pipes that you get which are polyethnic polyethylene in the UK come in different sizes. Now this one is black, normally they're blue. Black ones are were phased out in the 80s, so this one was installed, we reckon, about the 70s, and it's been in place ever since. Um, they're black as imperial size, so it's in inches, so this is three quarter inch, and then blue ones come in metric sizes, and the equivalent metric size is 25 mil, which is made today. So how I judge the size that pipes to get, because they come in 20 mil, 25 mil, 32, and then 40 mil and anything above that, you're into commercial grade stuff that's probably either in your street level or um, in commercial premises. So how I gauge the size is I take an adjustable spanner like this one, and I place it up to it, and I just pop it on it just like that, and that till it just no more is touching. And then, luckily with this one that I have, don't know if you can see there, it's got a little gauge on it, and that's reading at 25, 26 mil. And if your adjustable spanner doesn't have a little gauge, what you can do is get, get a ruler, just measure it off. So again, if we start from the 10 count, you can see that that is 25 mil. There's our break, a bit more of the pipe. Exposed now, we know where it's running, broken in, got exposed. So, what we're going to do is just here, see the little pinhole that the water's coming out. We're going to put our clamp on over this. So, to do that, you take your, your tool, you open it up, the bottom spindle slides, put it around your pipe, lock it in, and then we tighten it up. Right, there we go. As you can see, we've got the pipe squeezed in nice and tight. Still have a small trickle here coming out of our hairline fracture where the speed's come through. And um, most likely, however, this is water that's coming back along the line. Maybe some of it's coming through the pipe squeeze. Certainly it's nowhere near normal mains value, and we should be able to work with a game with these a uh, filmatic uh, products that we're using. There's no need to use lubricant or anything else that's likely to get washed away so we can work live in the pipes. Okay, so when we cut the pipe there, there was some water came back out, but just to give you an idea how good these pipe squeezes are, look, not, not a drop coming out of the main side. What came out was all from the house side, so again, important that you try and get as much drained out of your system as you can before you actually cut your pipe. Um, to cut the pipe, I just used a pair of normal pipe slices however you could. These are a couple of quid, I think this one's about six quid from Screwfix. You could easily use a hacksaw if you didn't have one of these. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to use then to try and fix this pipe. So what we have here is a universal connection from Billmac. It's a union joint. It's designed to take both metric and imperial, which is good because in our case we've got an old pipe from the 1970s. 
which is three quarter inch imperial, which is approximately 25 mil metric. There's a lot of leeway in these particular union couplings, make life a bit easier. Inside them, I'll show you what you've got. You have the outer shell, and then you have this white rim, which is what locks down. Inside here, just in here, you have a little ridge that when you tighten it, pushes this rim in, and it's this that grips onto the pipe. And then further in here, you've got a big lump of rubber with a lock rim. Okay, and the beauty of these Filmite products, because they're designed to take such a big size of pipe, you've got lots of room. Normally, when you're trying to squeeze a pipe in like this, it's quite difficult. However, with this one, look, I can do it with one hand and get it home, and I can feel that locking in, and then we'll tighten this up by hand. That's both sides in now um, hand tight. Now, what we're going to do is just use slightly this big 45mm adjustable spanner and this pair of normal hand adjustable grips, and we're going to give it a, a good tighten up. So, we'll put the adjustable spanner on here. And we'll put our grips on here and we'll give it another about two quarter turns and that'll be all tightened up. And there we go, final tightened right up. You notice in here it's all tight right up to the edges, both sides. Taking label to good indication on the previous, it was around here, so it's near enough a whole turn we've done with um, mechanical aids of the, the pliers and the grips. And then this side's tightened up, and you can actually feel it as you're tightening, nip in. Really good, quite impressed with this product. But again, test will be when we release the pressure back off on the, the pipe squeeze and see what happens. So I just need to nip back inside, turn the tap that we opened up to try and drain down the system, close again, and then we'll start to open it up gradually and see what happens. Okay, we've just been inside, having released the pipe squeeze. Pipe squeeze came off really easily. You see some little bit of deformation here, just where it was. But we did a another test piece earlier today. Here, it's completely gone. So with time, this will gain, this will relax back out to its normal position. Won't be noticeable. Just um, stuck a piece of slate under here, just to see if there's any water or drips. There's nothing. That's soil. Pipe is bone dry all around, which is good. Um, one thing I would say is when you turn your water back on in the house, just remember you may have some air pockets. So you turn on all of your taps very, very slowly. Start with the one closest to your mains incomer. So if your stop, cock, your stop valve is underneath your sink, turn your sink on first, but open it very, very slowly to start with. And you'll hear a wee bit of hammer. Don't be worried as it starts spluttering and choking. That's okay, that's just the air escaping its way out. And then turn your tap on until you can get it on full and you get a nice steady flow and go around all your taps in the house doing that. And hopefully you'll have a, a good successful job. So all we'll do now is we will leave this for a couple of days just to check that there's nothing coming through it before we backfill in around it.